Good afternoon. This little lesson is over chapter three, creating queries. The word query means to ask a question. Make sure you go through the whole lesson of chapter three to see all the different ways you can create a query. I'm going to show you one quick method on how to create a query. We are going to first, you need to go to the create tab and we're going to choose query design. I typically don't use the wizard for queries. In the book it might have you do that for one or two of them. Just follow those steps. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Your show table dialog box come up, comes up and I'm going to choose to open the clients table. I'm going to choose to extract all the clients that are from the city of Indianapolis. To do that I need to choose from the table which which fields I would like to add to my query. The fields I want to add are client. So I'm going to double click client and notice it shows up down here. The next field is street address, city, state, and zip. City, state, and zip code. Now, as I said, I want to extract all of the clients that are from the Indianapolis city. So, down here, you see, notice they're all checked for show because I want them all to show up in my new table that I'm going to create through the query. And then under show, you see criteria or. We're going to go from criteria across to the city field, and I'm going to type in the city Indianapolis. Spelling is very important. If you make a typo, um, it will not find your data. So you need to make sure you have things spelled correctly. Now, if I decided I wanted to put them in alphabetical order or descending order by client, I could also do that right here. I'm not going to do that this time. I just wanted to show you that. After I've typed in Indianapolis for the city and I've pressed enter, I'm going to choose to run my query. My run button is the red exclamation point in the top left hand corner of the design tab. And there we go. I look, yep, all of those cities are from Indianapolis. When I go to save my query, make sure you name it what it asks you to in the book. I'm just going to go Indianapolis. There's going to be quite a few queries you're going to do for the assignment um, in chapter three. Make sure you do them all and you save them all because that's how I will grade you. Before doing the assessments, you really do need to go through the chapter and see all the different ways to create a query. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.